The One Happy Diabetic video you're about to watch contains content that was created based on our unique experiences with diabetes and should not substitute for the advice of medical professionals. The opinions expressed in this video do not reflect those of our employers, doctors, friends, or favorite grocery store checkout person. They are solely our own. Enjoy! Salutations everyone, my name is Yogi from DiabeticRadio.com and I am one happy diabetic. Uh, this is my first video for the One Happy Diabetic Project. I was really struggling trying to figure out what the hell I was going to talk about for my first video. And then I finally decided to talk about um, supplements. Um, now, this video is not going to be about, you know, what vitamin is good for this, what vitamin is good for that, what herb is good. Um, this is really about um, the importance of making sure that your doctor knows every little single thing that you're taking. It is so important. You know, a lot of us, both diabetics and non-diabetics, you know, sometimes we take this for granted and um, we have a misconception of um, what it means to take natural supplements. You know, um, herbs, um, they can and often do have medicinal effects. Uh, uh, well, with tea... With the exception of tea, a lot of times it's watered down, so it's it's safe. But, you know, even then, when you're taking certain medications, you can never be too sure. So it's always a good idea to make sure that you let all your doctors know, not just the medications, but any herbal teas that you're taking and any um, herbal supplements or sometimes even vitamins. It's so important. Um... Just because someone, just because something says natural, it doesn't mean that that product cannot be toxic. You know, um, like I've said before in, in my other videos, if you've ever been to my blog, DiabeticRadio.com, uh, I often talk about how uh, diabetics are a billion dollar money maker. So you got companies anywhere from your local gym to Bowflex to, you know, these so-called exercise gurus, experts, and you have all these supplements, which, by the way, still isn't regulated by anybody, you know, and a lot of us pay a whole lot of money for these supplements, and, you know, you have no idea what the purity is or anything like that, you're just really going by the word of the um, person or place that's, you know, selling these things. Um, but that's in no way, shape, or form. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying that no one can, can't benefit from these things. Um, I'm just saying that uh, we really need to be a little bit more careful and do more research uh, not just on the kinds of things that we're taking in, but making sure that we do the research um, and find out there's no drug interactions with our current diabetic regimen. You know, now taking herbs seems to be the big thing now. You know, everyone is trying to find that big cure, you know, whatever that means. But t like I said, there is none. There's never been a cure for diabetes. And not one credible a research organization has ever said, you know, uh, diabetes is curable. Uh, remember that. You can maintain your, di your diabetes by controlling your blood sugar. And by controlling your blood sugar, that in unto itself can literally reverse your complications. And um, I know this to be true because it's happened to me. You know, just about every major complication I've had, I was able to reverse just by uh, controlling my sugars. Never mind the weight. Controlling the sugars alone was enough to roll back my complications. 
um, and now I'm basically complication free, you know, um, with the exception of some food interactions, but, you know, that's, that's not necessarily diabetic, um, uh, related, um, but those are some of the things that I have to, uh, watch out so for. So back to the herbs and, 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 and all that stuff, um, you know, everybody wants to do things the natural way and, you know, do go, you know, do whatever it is that they can to avoid insulin or avoid medication, especially insulin. Even though I've talked about how much I love insulin and it's helping to keep my blood sugars at normal level, truth be told, insulin is very expensive. And insulin, if you don't have good insurance, insulin can definitely be a financial strain. So I can understand uh, why everyone is really, you know, breaking the hump trying to avoid it and and trying to take as many kinds of herbal supplements um, as they can. But you know, uh, you hear it all over the place, especially in radio. You know, it just seems like every other, you know, hour, half hour on on any given AM radio channel, you'll hear some doctor. Um, developing some new formula that's supposed to clear X, Y, and Z diseases. You know, one thing that um, these radio, you know, hosts or whatever company is selling me stuff, you know, they fail to tell the viewers one important thing. I want to let you know on a secret that not too many people know about. And I want you to start doing more research on this. And that is, you know, herbs are kind of like antibiotics in a way. You know, once you keep taking the herbs over and over and over every day for X amount of time, you know, every day for one month, two months, three months, after a while they start losing their effectiveness. You know, it's, it's you know, after a while it'll start working just like antibiotics. That's what some... People refuse to take antibiotics when they're sick because that fear is if you keep taking that antibiotics over and over and over and over, when you get really sick, then now your body is immune to it because you're constantly taking, you know, all kinds of um, antibiotics, which is, you know, a real concern. Talk to your doctor. Talk to your doctor and make sure that he doesn't, he or she doesn't know of any um, drug interactions, and sometimes even with fruits and food. You know, I know some of you may think it sounds stupid, but it's not. Because I tell you right now, uh, what is it, Lipitor? You know, Lipitor. If you were to take grapefruit, it can have a very serious side effect with some people. You know, if you have a good pharmacist, they should. You know, most of them, they put that label, that yellow label on your medication to let you know not to eat any grapefruit. So um, don't assume that it's just the herbs. You know, sometimes it's, it's uh, um, fruits too uh, and maybe even vegetables. Um, so um, I won't go on and uh, too much on this. Um, I just want you guys to do research on, on um, these things for yourself. And just uh, be careful because, you know, uh, there's so many things coming out for diabetics, so many things that they're pushing down our throats, saying take this, take that, with promises of curing you, promises of, you know, so many things. And um, I, I, I'm, I just want to make people aware that, again, diabetes is not always as easy as, as people think. So, um, I hope this video has been helpful to you, and um, thank you for watching. And uh, stop by my blog, DiabeticRadio.com, and as well, if you are on DiabeticRadio.com, please visit OneHappyDiabetic.com. I'm just so pleased uh, that I am a part of this project. Um, uh, I think that the five of us make a, a, a wonderful blend. Um, 
uh, coming together and sharing our experiences to help other diabetics and and hopefully this will inspire even more bloggers to uh, do what we're doing uh, because this is very very important there are over 350 million people with diabetes and um, we need to get those diabetics um, on track we need to uh, make sure that um, our experiences and information and resources are here available to uh, those who are in need so um, thank you um, remember to stay positive and um, I'm one happy bed diabetic and I hope you are too you better be <laughs> see you bye bye <laughs>